Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between James Mason and William Steinitz. This game was played in London in 1883. Mason had white pieces and he started with d4. William Steinitz played d5. Bishop to f4. Some people call this opening Queen's pawn game Mason variation. c5. Is this Queen's gambit reversed? This position was seen for the first time in 1834. And player with the white pieces played e3 and came second. Mason played d takes on c5. Knight to c6 intending e5. So if e3, e5. Mason played knight to f3. f6 preparing e5. e3, e5, bishop to g3, bishop takes on c5. Interestingly, this position was never seen before. Can you believe that? Mason played c3. Knight from g to e7, knight from b to d2. Bishop to b6, castling was ok too. Bishop to e2, and both players castled king's side. Knight to f5, threatening to chop the bishop. Steinitz has done well in the opening. e4. Knight takes on g3. h takes on g3. Black to move. How would you continue? Perhaps bishop to e6 is not a bad move. And how about pawn takes pawn on e4? Steinitz played d4, not afraid of having an isolated queen's pawn. Very interesting. c takes on d4, e takes on d4, bishop to c4 check, king to h8, knight to b3. Visually, the isolated queen's pawn looks very vulnerable. Do you agree? Black to move, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, bishop to d5, attacking the defender of the pawn. And now, knight to e5, allowing white to take on b7. Bishop takes on b7, white is a pawn up. Rook to b8, bishop to d5, and now f5, intending to open the f-file. This move is also challenging the defender of the bishop on d5. Knight from b to d2. But now, instead of pawn takes pawn on e4, Steinitz played f4. White to move. Queen to a4 was played. If g takes on f4, then rook takes on f4, and there is too much pressure on the knight on f3. Back to our game. Queen to a4. Knight takes on f3. Check. Knight takes knight. F takes on g3, F takes on g3. Black can play d3, discover check any time. Steinitz played queen to d6, attacking the pawn on g3. Knight to h2, threatening knight takes bishop. d3, discover check, king to h1. Black to move, queen takes pawn on g3 was expected. Steinitz played bishop to e2, attacking the rook. Rook takes rook check, rook takes rook, and black is in the control of the open f file. Bishop to b3, queen takes on g3. Black is intending bishop to c7 in some variations, and then queen takes on h2 check mate. Queen to d7. If bishop to c7, then queen to h3. d2. Queen takes on d2, and now bishop to c7. Indeed, white won the isolated queen's pawn, but the cost is very high. e5, gaining time to play knight to f3. Queen takes on e5, knight to f3, attacking the queen and defending h2 square. Black to move, what would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Steinitz played the obvious, and the obvious is Rook takes knight. And Mason resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes rook. Queen to h2. Check. Mate. What a brilliant game by Steinitz. 
What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.